today on Designing Spaces. Many of our homes and businesses are vulnerable to water, fire, smoke, and mold damage. Not sure where to turn? The experts at Service Master Restore can get you through any kind of crisis. Looking for one tool to help you clean up your outdoor space? Ryan's here with the 101 on how to choose the right pressure cleaner for the job. Epoxy finishes are all the rage. Not sure where to start? Stone coat countertops have got you covered. Plus, working remotely? Resource and project management tools to keep the team working together seamlessly. Natural disasters and severe weather are notorious for wreaking havoc on homes. And if your home incurs damage, it is likely that you're going to need a restoration service. The question is, who are you going to trust with your most valued of spaces? From crisis to resolution, the pros at Service Master Restore have been restoring homes and businesses from water, fire, and mold damage for 65 years. Not only are they one of the largest disaster restoration companies in the U.S., they've also helped set the standard for the entire industry. Service Master Restore is a leader in our industry because we have enabled through our quality restoration vendor network exacting standards to ensure that all of our franchisees uh, set the same standard for accessibility, how they communicate progress on jobs, and ensuring that we have the same standards for quality and safety on each and every job. In 2018, when Hurricane Michael devastated areas in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, and Virginia, Service Master Restore responded in full force, helping countless communities rebuild their homes and businesses. And it's not just natural disasters that can affect a home or a business. Everyone who owns a property is vulnerable to water, fire, smoke, storm, and mold damage. Not to worry, the experts at Service Master Restore can get you through any kind of crisis. After a disaster, it's very important to get on site as quickly as possible to make sure that we're mitigating the future damage that could occur. Service Master Restore has over 600 franchisees and 850 locations across the country, and we're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year to help support our customers and we're OSHA compliant, fully insured, uh, and has relationships with all of the largest insurance carriers in order to help customers navigate that very difficult experience from a disaster to resolution. How does Service Master Restore remain on the cutting edge of effective restoration techniques, products, and technologies? With a 20,000 square foot state-of-the-art training center, of course. So here at our training center, we provide training for our new owners, their technicians. Our training facility is designed by service lines so that we can provide the best hands-on training possible. We do utilize industry best practices, working with the IICRC. So this demonstration house has been around for about 20 years. It's been flooded over 250 times. Having a fully functioning house allows us to test equipment in a real life situation. We're able to flood a room or the entire house and test multiple pieces of equipment from different manufacturers to ensure that what we're using is always state of the art. You can see we have multiple types of carpeting. We have wood floor, tile, ceramic, drywall, just like you'd have in your own home. The technicians that are going through the training simulate the same job they would do for any homeowner. When a home is damaged, whether it's from water or fire, many of those contents have to be cleaned as well as the structure. We have a complete setup for drying and cleaning contents in our training center, which allows us to again train our franchises how best to handle any type of content. One of the things we try and instill in everybody who comes through training is that they are restoring somebody's life your home suffers from water or fire damage, it's a very personal thing. That's what we're teaching people how to do, making sure they connect with their customer and seeing what's important to their customer. It's not always the house, sometimes it's that little thing. Servicing customers uh, during COVID is not new to us. We've been doing cleaning and disinfecting for many years. When damage happens to your home, it can be devastating. Service Master Restore is a nationwide company, but hometown service is at its core. There are over 850 locally owned franchises that employ team members who live in the very communities they serve. 
I'm Tyler Paddock with Service Master by Cornerstone in Memphis, Tennessee. In Memphis, it's a very small town feel. I want to provide the best solution possible for our customers with integrity, consistency, and innovation. Get them back in business or get them back in their home sooner than later. A year ago, we had a local flood. There were over 180 houses that flooded. So we were able to set up a command center in the middle of the town and we would go by and see the customers. And being able to service all of our neighbors in the community, seeing everyone come together, it brought our team great joy to be able to provide that service and be there. At Service Master Restore, it's our goal to restore your property, your contents, and your peace of mind. Whether it's a flooded basement or a hurricane, a kitchen fire or a wildfire, or even a worldwide pandemic. Service Master Restore has the expertise and commitment to navigate their customers from crisis to solution. For more information and a location near you, visit servicemasterrestore.com. everybody, it's Ryan here. Now, as you can tell, summer is upon us. Now, during the spring, we've probably taken the time and cleaned the inside of our house, but now it's time to come out and enjoy the beautiful outdoors and our patios. But before we do that, we need to spruce it up and get some cleaning done. Now, as a contractor and a homeowner, my secret weapon is a pressure washer. They're super versatile. There's a lot of options out there. Whether you're looking to prep, to paint, clean your driveway, or just simply wash your car and spray off the cobwebs. There's an option out there for you. So today I'm gonna to cover all those for you to make sure you get the right machine for the job. So the first option we wanna talk about is electric versus gas. Now with gas power washers, obviously you have a gas engine, which is more maintenance, as well as having to keep a fuel tank. Now, unless you're a contractor and you're power washing every day or every week, it's just not really a good option for homeowners. Now, as a homeowner, the electric options are a much better way to go. They're easy to store, you don't have to mess with the fuel, and they're really easy to use, but still packs quite a punch. So the next thing you want to look at is PSI. What does that mean? Pounds per square inch, which simply is the pressure coming out of the nozzle. There really is the right machine for the job. So kind of determine what you're going to be using it for, and then you can decide how much PSI you need. Now in generally, more PSI, they're a little bit more expensive. So make sure you get one that's right for you and fits your budget. Now the next thing you're gonna see is GPM or gallons per minute. Basically, if you're doing very large areas, you want a higher gallon per minute. But for most of our homeowner projects, it's really about the PSI. That is what is most important. Now today I have two really great options from Westinghouse. I have the EPX 2000 and 3000, and as you can see, they kind of look the same. Some cool features that they both have, they have these very easy rolling wheels, they're lockable, they're fairly small, so they're very easy to store in the garage. This one is about 12 inches tall, this one is 16 inches tall. Now the big difference is, is the PSI. Here on the 2000, we have 1500 PSI. This is really good for general cleanup. Are you washing a car, spraying off the cobwebs in your foyer, anything of that nature? This is really, really good. The wand has basically an all-in-one nozzle, which is good for all those general projects. It also has this attachment where you can put a cleaner or soap in this, put it on it, and it will help disperse the soap, and then you can continue with your cleaning. This is a really good light-duty machine for everyday cleaning. Now, with the 3000, we're going to to step up. The big difference here is this wand. It has removable tips. You have a black one for soap, and then we have a 15 degree, 25 degree, and a pinpoint, which basically is the spray pattern. A pinpoint is just that. It's a very fine needle. You want to be careful using that. That's for like rock work and very durable surfaces. The other ones are for cleaning driveways and things like that. It's going to show you in the manual what each one is really, really good for. The other really cool thing about this machine here is it has a soap tank built right into it. Back here, you just open the spout pour your soap or cleaner, whatever you're gonna use, and it will automatically disperse through the machine. 
Now these are power tools and of course safety is very important. There's some precautions that you should take. Wear some eyewear, perhaps some boots. Don't ever use them barefoot. Don't ever ever point the nozzle at someone or an animal while you're spraying. The right tip for the right job so that you don't injure people or products. And then don't go on the ladder with these. If, if something needs to be pressure washed that's on the ladder, that's when you call in the professionals. Just use this safely and you'll have great results every time. No matter the surfaces that you plan on cleaning to get rid of those grimy dirt, mold, stains, and whether it be your deck, your siding, the side of your house, you can even wash your car. For all the information today on power washers, be sure to go to westinghouseoutdoorpower.com and as always, designingspaces.tv. Hey everybody, it's Ryan here, and do I have an amazing project for you guys today. Now, I've been using Stone Coat Countertop Epoxy products for quite a few years now, and I just absolutely love them. As a contractor, it's a really neat way to add another option that saves time, money, and gives something unique as far as availability of products. Now, as a homeowner, it's a great DIY project and a great alternative to natural stones. Now my twin sister Rachel and I decided to keep our childhood home and remodel it into a vacation home that the entire family can enjoy. When remodeling the kitchen, we were faced with the decision to spend almost $5,000 on a natural stone countertop and it just wasn't in the budget. So of course, stone coat countertops to the rescue. We did it, it was our great DIY project and it came out absolutely beautiful. Now what I have here is a kit that I got for doing countertops. We have our two-part epoxies, we have our undercoat, we have our marble spray, they have the liquid dyes. Here I have the black and white and they have powdered pigments that come in metallic and also this stuff here called diamond dust. So let's get at it. Okay, so as you can see, our base coat has dried, and now for the fun part, we're gonna mix some epoxy, throw in some color, and get this bad boy going. All right, it's looking pretty good. While we wait for this to dry, we have a special guest, owner, operator, and founder of Stone Coat Countertops, Mike Quist, and he's got an awesome project to show us. Check it out. Thanks, Ryan. Let's get started on this countertop project. Guys, we're gonna start with wood and create marble. All right, let's cut this wood to size for our vanity project. Then we're gonna create a rock face edge. Next, we're gonna use our epoxy undercoater in white for this recipe. We're gonna roll two coats of that, we'll sand, and we're ready for the epoxy. We're gonna use our additives, our black dye, our white dye, our diamond dust, and a little bit of spray paint. We'll mix these in four separate containers. We'll use our black as our wash coat. This process is simple, it's easy, it's fun, and there's no noxious fumes. It's DIY friendly. After that, we're gonna take our colors and spread them across the piece. The colors can be intermixed to whatever design you wish. Next, we're gonna use a heat gun, and we're simply gonna move the epoxy around. There's a pro tip here. Stone Coat Epoxy is designed with a long working time that allows you to do these effects and get just the look you want without being in a rush. After we've spread that out with the heat gun, you could even use gravity and tilt this project to whatever form and fashion you prefer. We've sanded our flood coat. Now we're gonna do some marble spray. This will fracture the surface. Then we're gonna add our depth and durability with our second coat. This is our clear coat using our same stone coat countertop epoxy at a one-to-one -one ratio. We'll trowel it with our notch trowel, we'll chop it with our chop brush, and then we'll torch the bubbles out. Did you know you could set hot pans on stone coat epoxy? This stuff is tough. After that, we're almost ready to install. Wow, that was really awesome, Mike. Thank you so much. You know, I'm really happy with the way this tabletop came out. So for all the ideas you saw today, make sure you go to designingspaces.tv. With more and more people working remotely, having the right technology to unite project management and resource management 
could mean the difference between success or chaos. Francesca is a production coordinator for a bustling television studio that provides multiple programs. Not only does the production company function as a marketing agency, it has multiple contracted resources to manage, such as camera crews, actors, and construction crews. The shows have strict deadlines, so clear communication between all the departments is paramount. I work as a production coordinator for a home makeover show. There's a lot of moving parts. I work to make sure that our crew members, their itineraries are set before we start the production and that crew, design, and construction are all working together to make sure that the makeover is possible. Once we go into production, it becomes all about managing the schedules. My job is primarily done using my cell phone, my laptop. Couldn't be possible without spreadsheets, so I use a lot of binders and a lot of paper to maintain the project, but if I were to ever lose that binder, it would just be chaos. By far the most important part of this job is the call sheets. If we have a last minute change, it's important that I have readily available access to those call sheets and to be able to manipulate them from wherever I am. Right now we are gearing up for our biggest makeover yet. We have 20 plus clients, three construction crews, a design team, and our own production crew that's working around the clock. So it's really important that we are doing all that we can to stay on budget, on time, because failure is not an option. I love technology and I know that there are solutions out there that can help me better manage these projects. Uh, I just need to find it. After doing her research, Fran discovered MavenLink, a resource and project management solution. The MavenLink team got her up and running quickly, so she'll be able to manage all her projects and resources virtually from start to finish, on time and within budget. The reason MavenLink stood out to me is it's so user-friendly, and I really like their collaboration feature, and to have that resource right at my fingertips is it's a no-brainer. I contacted MavenLink, and they were able to deliver my software remotely, which was fantastic, and they had me up and running in no time. One of the things that I love about MavenLink is that it's totally customizable to my own needs. I'm able to create my own templates and save and reuse them, and to be able to collaborate with my team on what's going on in the project is invaluable. I'm able to see who's available on the entire crew and who may be overbooked, which is really important for scheduling. And it's color-coded, which I personally love. Whether firms manage five or 500 projects simultaneously, MavenLink provides a complete view of the entire project portfolio. MavenLink provides real-time visibility through detailed Gantt charts, task lists, and threaded communications that help you understand your most pressing needs. I'm obsessed with the project page. It's like being in mission control, having access to all of my information in one place. I can post a message to the entire team or send private messages to specific people as needed. With all the moving parts that we have on the construction side, the ability to attach floor plans and photos is super helpful. A lot of times I need an approval on a design. I can send it to the construction team wherever they are and get an answer immediately so things don't get delayed. MavenLink project accounting is deeply integrated in the foundation of every project as well, providing immediate visibility into budgets, burn rates and forecasted costs and margins. As a producer, I am constantly busy managing and juggling so many different project elements from the initial creative call to booking your crew and all within a budget, which is a whole other ballgame. When Fran first shared MavenLink with me, from my perspective as a producer, making on-the-fly decisions about adding equipment or crew and having the ability to at a glance look at my budgets and make those decisions helps my projects move forward on time. Plus, I'm on location all the time, so the ability to just pull my phone out and see everything I need, it's a lifesaver. I love the status and health page because at any moment I can see if a project of mine is at risk. It's like a little game for me. I want all my projects to be in the green. With projects, financials, collaboration, resource management, and business intelligence in a single unified environment, teams using MavenLink are able to connect, collaborate, execute, and thrive like never before. When you work in television, things are constantly changing, and I myself am always on the go and feel that it makes me vulnerable to errors. Having MavenLink gives me that extra sense of security that I'm not gonna forget anything. It keeps me on track, within my budget, and more importantly, on time. For more information on MavenLink and the solutions featured today, visit mavenlink.com. 
For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.